Hello love bugs and welcome back to my YouTube channel. If you're new here, I'm Sarah and I teach people how to find inner happiness through fitness and spirituality. And today, we're going to talk about five steps that you can take when you're feeling lost in life, down, depressed, confused. And I want to talk about this because I've been feeling that way a lot lately, really specifically this past week. I've just been really struggling and I want to share with you guys what I do to feel better, what I do to kind of get myself out of this funk and just understand that this happens to everyone no matter what stage you're in in life and life is full of ups and downs and right now some of us are just at a down and that doesn't mean that tomorrow or next week or next month we won't be at a super high. My first step is really to just acknowledge that this isn't going to last forever. You're not going to be lost and down and depressed for the rest of your life. And continually just remind yourself of that. Also, check out my Easter nails. Aren't they sick? I know. <laughs> when you're feeling down, allow yourself to feel down. Cry even if you don't know why you're crying. Yell if you don't know why you're yelling. Punch a pillow, whatever. And then when you're done, tell yourself, Sarah, I acknowledge I'm upset, but this isn't going to last forever. Tell yourself out loud over and over again as much as you need to, write it down. Embed it in your head that this is not going to last forever. And I promise that as you're going through this low, that in itself will start to accumulate and snowball and make you feel a little better even while you're going through this this downspout. Number two, like this video. <laughs> Ding. So my number two is to trace what exactly it is that you're feeling lost about, that you're feeling down about. Because how can you even begin to fix the problem if you don't even know what it is? Is it your relationship? Is it your financial status? Is it your health? Is it your job? There are so many things it could be and maybe it's more than one thing. It doesn't have to be just one thing, but I do think it's very important that if you are struggling with multiple things in your life, that you figure out what those things are and you begin to tackle them one at a time. What are you doing up on the table, sassy girl? Oh, Zach and Ben will be so mad. My cat just got on the table. All right, but you do need to get down off the table. You knew I was coming for you, girl. Figure out what exactly it is that you have, you're having an issue with. For me, it's kind of my direction in life. You know, I've really let myself slip a lot in the last few months as far as like my diet. So I decided to slowly ease myself back into a stricter diet and I just started figuring stuff out and figuring out like what's important to me in life. What do I want to get out of life? And it doesn't matter what age you are. You could be 70 and switch gears if you wanted to. I know it's easier said than done, especially, you know, if you're listening to someone who's in their 20s talking about this, but at the end of the day, we only have one life to live and this should be the life that we want, the life that we create, the life that we design for ourselves. So whatever that means for you, figure it out. Once you figure it out, I want you to brain dump. Brain dump in a journal, in a video. Have you guys seen Grace and Frankie? It's like one of my, it's like maybe my favorite show. I freaking love it. I feel like I'm an exact mix of Grace and Frankie. But if you've seen it, you see how Frankie will turn on her iPhone and she will video journal. And I do a lot of regular journaling, but sometimes I do turn to video journaling if my hand can't keep up with my brain and my thoughts because you know we talk a lot faster than we write. 
So get it all out. Get all of your thoughts out. Get all of your worries out. Get all of the, the what ifs you know, the scenarios, the things that you're worried about, get it all out on paper, out on video, so that you can really release those thoughts from kind of like ping-ponging all back in your head because I know that all too well. So get it all out, whatever method's best for you, if you wanna type in a note in your phone, if you wanna journal with all these pretty pens like I do, or if you want a video journal, do it, just get it out. If you do decide to do the uh, video journaling, You'll be so surprised of what comes out of your freaking mouth when you're just going. So if you haven't tried it, I would highly, highly suggest it. it or if you feel some type of resistance towards just regular journaling, try video journaling, like in your car, you somewhere where you're by yourself because I know it'll feel weird if other people are around. But I will tell you from personal experience, it's the shit. And you know what else is the shit? <laughs> Subscribing to my channel because you love my Easter egg nails. Aren't they so cute? <laughs> Number four, talk to someone that you trust, that you love, that you feel comfortable with. Talk to a friend, talk to a family member or a therapist or a coach. Shout out to my coach, Kat, she's the shit. And she helps me through so much. I know that I can come to her and say, this is what I'm worried about, help me. So I will leave her link below if any of you are interested in hiring her as a coach. Um, she doesn't even know I'm putting this in this video, but she is amazing. So I'll put her, her link down there below. Um, but she has just been a godsend on top of that, you know, talking to friends, talking to my family. It just really helps to sometimes get an outside perspective because a lot of times we make something a huge deal. We make mountains out of molehills and it's not a big deal. And sometimes it takes the right people to kind of like knock you in your place and say, girl, what are you freaking out about? Like take a step back. Why are you worrying so much? Why are you worried about if scenarios? That's what my mom always says to me. She says I worry like a 40 year old. She's told me that since I was 12. It's not a great quality to have. It's honestly not. It's something I'm working on, but sometimes you get caught up in it. I felt this way and I felt like I, I was just out of control with my worrying and my thoughts and I, I couldn't grasp control of it. And these are the things that I did to like woosah, Sarah, like woosah, chill the hell out. So talk to someone you love and you trust. Sometimes they'll be able to pull you back from that ledge, but make sure it's someone that you do feel comfortable with and that you know will give you good and honest feedback but like won't be a about it. The last thing I would suggest for you to do, pray about it. Talk to God or the universe or source or whatever you like to call it. Somewhere I heard someone say Gus. God, universe, source. I really like that. But I feel like it's it dulls down the, the powerful nature of what those things are. I recently, started finding my faith again. And it's been so powerful and so beautiful. And I highly suggest for you to find whatever that higher power is that you believe in, if you do, and get in alignment with it, him, it, whatever. Gus, I just can't, I can't call it that. I just can't, it's, it's, it's not a great acronym. <laughs> Lean into that, lean into your trust in the universe and in God and understand that there's a plan out there for you. Yeah, you got choices. We make choices every day, we make decisions every day. But there's a timeline and there's a plan out there for you that us as like humans can't even comprehend what that even means or what that is or what that bigger picture is. So lean into that. Trust the universe, trust God. Trust that you're going through this difficult time. It's setting you up for something so much grander, so much bigger than your mind is even capable of seeing right now while you're in this negative or down state. And just understand that it's gonna happen, you're gonna feel this way and it's gonna be okay and I'm gonna be okay and you're gonna be okay and we're all gonna be okay, okay? Okay?
don't punch me. I know I said okay a lot. <laughs> So I hope you guys found this video helpful. I totally understand. I'm so, so, so there with you. I know it's really hard when you get on social media and you see people that look like they're just living this perfect lifestyle and they're so happy and they're so positive and everything's just going perfectly for them. But I'm here to tell you, that's not true. You know, we all go through struggles and the thing is, is social media, it's a highlight reel. You don't get on there and complain or cry or, or, or talk about your issues. And some people do, and I think it's beautiful and great. And that's kind of what I want to do on this channel is integrate. Yeah, I, I, I think positivity is so powerful and beautiful, but I also want you guys to understand that I'm human, we're all human. Everyone on social media that puts out content is human and everyone goes through things. And I want you guys to understand that you're not alone. And I'm here with you, I'm going through these things with you. And I take scenarios in my life and that's what I use to create content on this channel. I haven't had like this on a list or something to make a video about. I just sat down today, I knew I was making a video today and said, what's been going on in my life that I can share and what, and what I can talk about and what people can relate to and what, what can I help people with this week. And this is what came up. So I love you guys. It's all going to be okay. It's all going to work out. If you haven't liked this video yet, please like, please subscribe for more content like this. Let me know in the comments below which of the five things that you think will be most helpful for you or if you already do them. And until next time, I love you and don't forget, be limitlessly yourself.